Hello there, guys. I, well, it's basically my second attempt at this. First attempt didn't go too well because I got copyrighted by YouTube because I didn't put my audio down. Silly me. So let's start this again. Basically, I'll do what I did last. Well, the first episode, if it wasn't copyrighted. Go through the players, get to the first game, which hopefully I will get the American Challenge Cup again. P please be nice. Yeah. Because I had it all set out. I had the Realistic Cup, and then it just all went because of me being silly and putting audio on. But anyway, make sure to follow the non-stop wrestling and non-stop sport in, on Facebook and then also on Twitter and then go over to Twitch and follow non understop underscore stop underscore stop sport I think I've said that wrong anyway um, yeah there's wrestling on there there's different games play GTA and a lot but yeah it's a fun time guys so um, let's get started CSK here there Wolfsburg, wrong way. There we go. Right. Very annoying that I have to do this again, but uh, oh well. So, introduction to the career mode basically. I'm going to go through every player in the squad, decide whether they're out or they're in, because I, I feel that there's a lot of players in there that don't really deserve to be at a club like Man United, but to be honest with the form we've been playing recently, they do. There we go, Man United Ponder, new boss Marshall. <laughs> I'm very excited for this because, you know, playing each game, and to be honest, I don't often do a United career mode because it's like, I, I support them, so it gets boring after a while because I did loads in FIFA 14 and FIFA 15, but yeah, it should be fun. It's not my first time doing it in FIFA 16, because I did my first ever career on FIFA 16 with United, but... You know, let's hope Luke Shaw doesn't break his leg this time. Pre-season friendly tournament, there we go. Just override the one that got copyrighted. And there we go, advanced to invites. Oh, damn. I knew this would happen. Um, so it looks like we are going to Asia instead of America. We'll go for the Asian Elite Cup, which our group is Roma, Real Madrid, and Al Hilal. That is not good because in the American one we had Bayern, San Lorenzo, and LA Galaxy. So this one should be a little bit harder bit of a test. Uh, they want me to qualify for the Champions Cup. I think I can do that. Win the Cup. That's hard. Saying that, you know, it's United and I don't really think I'm going to be that good at it. 92 mil. Anyway, I, I did this for the players last year. The, the goalies are fine. I'm not going to bother with the goalies because we've got Valdez, but he's leaving at the end of the season because his contract's running out, as it'll say. Oh, it doesn't say. McNair, we'll get rid of Paddy McNair. We'll put Regan Poole on a two year loan deal. Tuan Zeeb, sorry if I pronounced that wrong, but you know. Darmian Varela, I like having backups. Like I said in the last video, it got copyrighted. I do like having backups because it gives me a, a more of an option. Say if Darmian gets injured. Um, obviously Varela can step in there. Now, Carrick and Fellaini. Obviously, I'm going to like them because I'm a United fan and they're in United players, but... I mean, Fellaini, he's just not been playing good. He, he gets foul... Uh, well, he, get, he puts fouls on people every game and he gets yellow card left, right and centre. And then Carrick, I, just don't, I, I think he's slipping in a way because he was a very good player. But now, he's, he's just basically gone on it. I would like it if he went to like a lower league club to try and help them make their way back up. But yeah, I'm not going to accept some silly offers for him to go to like the Bundesliga and stuff. It will probably go to somewhere in England. 
Right, I will be doing my shortlist, like adding people to my shortlist, but I'm just going to add three players into my shortlist. Inquire. First one's obviously going to be Ronaldo. I don't think I'm going to sign him this year, but I think I will next because he's, you know, he, I think he, half me thinks he wants to come back, but then again, half me thinks he doesn't because he's that good of a player that he'll go to like America with David Beckham or something, but. And then the other player is definitely the next, like, he's not going to be the next Messi, like people say. He's going to be the next Neymar. He's going to represent himself in a way because he's, he's such a good player. It's, like, untrue to say that he's at Barcelona with Messi and Suarez because that that, that, that front three is just amazing right now. For training, we'll put Martial on chance creation because he's going to be, like, on wing most of the time. Depay, definitely put him on free kicks because he's a brilliant free kick taker. Normally it's Rooney, but Rooney's just, he, he's slipping in a way. Yeah, he's had some good form going towards it, scoring more goals than the whole of Arsenal. But, you know, it's just, he just goes off form. It's very weird because he's been playing good and then he just slips again. But then he has like 10 goals and about... 15 games, it's really weird, but there we go, I don't think anyone's going to go up, but the stats do go up a little bit, that's fine for me Um, let's say we've got Real Madrid first, because that is harsh ok, so they've said Ronaldo and Neymar are not available at any price, well let's put that to the test 72 million pounds for Neymar. His value 64 mil. You know what? We'll put 72 million in for both Ronaldo and Neymar. I know what? they're probably not going to come because we have got Real Madrid first, and that is a very big game, which will be next episode. So stick around for that one. Um. All right. 25.5 mil. I think is worthy enough for Laporte. Because I do think I'm going to sell some players in order to get him. Because I'm probably going to waste my budget on Neymar or Ronaldo. But unacceptable for Ronaldo. I knew that that's why I'm probably going to go in from next year. Because look, we have set a 119 million price tag for Ronaldo. That's just unbelievable. But anyway, guys. That was it for the introduction. Stick around, like, and subscribe and comment, and I will see you next episode.